and try to find a hidden micro SD card on my DeSeta. So, uh, I'm not sure what order I'll post these up. I've been having troubles with the USB. First thing I'm going to do is try to take this guy out without removing the whole dash. This is a trick from, from CPO. Alright, so I used the uh, old uh, CPO's trick to get this guy out without removing the whole dash here, right? You just put the screwdriver in, get in this little nub guy here and push down. So, point is, I think there is a hidden micro, US, micro SD card right on the bottom edge of the screen right here I can touch it I don't know if I can see it try to get you in there hopefully I can't see what's recording right now hopefully that sees it and we're gonna give it a shot so I think I found it yes I did boom look at that there is a, that's where the maps card is so I'm going to take that right out, set it over here, I got this Lexar card that I complained about in another video, let me pause this one. Alright, so I've got my Lexar card, I'm going to try to stick in there, and we'll see if it recognizes it. I'm using the Lexar instead of my... All right, there you go. Let's put it in. Let's get rid of minimize old CPO. And yeah, it did say a new S. Look at that. All right, so let's try. Let me turn this light off. So let's go to setup. Wait, what was that firmware updating? Uh, no, that's all. Oh, that's the same card I used to install it. If you watch my other video. I set up a uh, installer. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do is go in there and delete that install file because I don't want to prompt me for an install every time. So let's go to File Browser. Now my GPS card. That's this guy here. Let's delete that. Alright, so now let's see. So it sees my GPS card now. So what I'm trying to do is see before it was showing 8 gigs and so now it's showing 64 gig, right? That's great. So we'll see if this fixes that issue I was previously having where it wouldn't see it on a reboot, or not reboot, wake from sleep. So let's change this to the GPO. Alright, and then what I'm going to do, I don't know which one's which, but I'm just going to unplug this external. Alright, so now, and I'm going to go ahead and reboot. Just so everything's nice and clean. Uh, so again, you go to HCT Reboot. in my case. That's the map card. I should be able to put this guy back in. Just make sure it sees it after a reboot. Alright, 
So now we got 64 gigs of my micro SD card. So now we're in business. Hopefully if this works. So what I'm gonna do now is change my settings here to go to that micro SD card. Alright, so now it sees it and it should be moving. Yeah, so it's gonna move all my cards to the all my files to the external and all my downloading should go there. Alright, so I'm going to stop this now because it'll take forever for this all to move over. It's like eight gigs. And I'll stop this and I'll pick it back up and we'll see if it does that thing where it doesn't recognize it after an auto sleep. Alright, first test. Just dropped off something to Goodwill. Let's we'll see if it recognizes it. And still ejecting SD cards. Oh no. Well, let's see. It did say it was checking for errors, but it may have recovered. So let's see if it did or if it didn't. Oh, it recovered, so that might be good enough. Pause and resume. This works better if you're driving. have secured it so yeah it's definitely downloading and it still seems like I'm downloading it seems to stall sometimes I don't know why it does that but it does appear to be still moving files it says 730 countdown and so that's good so I'm thinking it's the back to my original theory that uh, micro SD either finds itself or doesn't fail as easy as a USB uh, so yeah so it failed and it quickly recovered so I can live with that alright same day I just didn't start it in time uh, but yeah so I just went in the post office and rebooted or auto sleep so it does initially say there's errors error but uh, it looks like it can still recover whereas USB would say it's corrupted not nah, well shit <laughs> well I guess that theory was just shit huh. no thanks that's just bogus alright well I was so excited I thought I'd solved all the life's mysteries but apparently not you still gotta reboot the stupid thing all right so it's really disappointing because i thought that was gonna fix it and this was gonna be the perfect unit all right so we gotta fix that because auto sleep is useless if it can't recognize storage from a sleep position right and the reason I know that's not corrupted because as soon as I reboot it's gonna say it works fine so it's supremely disappointing I was so excited to find my hidden micro SD card and now look if I check out my storage it's gonna say micro SD card but no problem as soon as I start up Google Play Music and it's going as super bright at night time yeah so as soon as I do that we're already downloading no problem no. and I bet if I go to settings that's gonna tell me we're on internal on external I mean yeah yeah so everything's on external so yeah it's not having any problems it just needs to reboot so but you can't reboot the radio every time what's the point of auto sleep if I have to reboot every time so tis the life of the 
and the Chinese Android head unit, I guess. Never quite perfect. Super great, but not quite just right. But I will keep trying to figure it out.